This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Goes without saying, the most important part of any wardrobe are the basics. But what if I told you that you are approaching this completely wrong? What if the most important part of any wardrobe isn't as cookie cutter as Uniqlo Supima t-shirt and vintage 501s? And don't get me wrong, I mean, these things are not bad. There's a reason that Uniqlo piece video reviews get as many views as they do. But I feel like people could be missing the entire point of wardrobe fundamentals when you default to popular choices like this without giving it any thought. In my opinion, the most important thing in fashion will always be fit. Let's just get this prerequisite out of the way before I get into the creative parts. Fitment is the end all be all of clothes. I bet bad fitment is the number one commonality in all the clothes that you no longer wear. It doesn't matter how cheap it is. If it fits bad, it fits bad. It doesn't matter how quality it is. Whatever that even means. Does anyone even care about quality? Let's just be honest here. Do you care about quality? Do you even care about quality? Are you sure about that? Do you even care? Anyways, no matter how good the quality is, if it fits bad, it fits bad. Something might look cool and exciting now, but if it does not fit good, if it does not fit properly, you will end up finding more excuses to not wear it. And realizing something looks bad over time is not what we want for a wardrobe fundamental. I've had this specific t-shirt right here for about seven years now. I don't even know the brand, but it just fits me so well that it's kind of just stuck around my rotation as a staple no matter where I go aesthetically. And not that I necessarily tried to match every single t-shirt's measurements to that one. I don't but I definitely use this as a base for context. And this same exact mindset and technique can go for pants, hoodies, jackets. Fit should come as a priority before everything, right? So then why do people skimp out on this? It takes five minutes to get your measurements and you don't even, you don't even have to measure yourself. You only have to get the measurements of your favorite best fitting pieces. Here's the blueprint to actually looking good for once. It's not that hard. As basic as you can get. Take a screenshot if you need it. Save it on your phone. Cause you kids are always on your damn phones. These templates are your actual wardrobe fundamentals. Okay, now getting measurements, that's actually the easy part. And now you gotta figure out out of the sea of choices, right? What is actually fundamental to your wardrobe? I'm gonna tell you right here, you just have to be picking better pieces. Everyone can be doing this. Just pick better pieces. You need to pick better pieces. Now, what do I mean? I mean, stop buying junk. Stop buying stuff just because it's cheap. And also on the inverse, just because it's expensive does not mean it's a good pick. The essence sale is like beer goggles. Because of that crazy markdown, you're like, well, I gotta buy it. It's the same thing on Grail. When something is below market value, I gotta buy it. Items on sale is like having beer goggles. What I'm saying is it's not about the price. You know, you could slide the deal of the year and get something crazy like a pair of Rick Owens heels for $20. The craziest come up ever. But if that's not where your wardrobe is at or where your mind is at, then it's kind of a pointless buy. You will never wear them. And people are gonna be like, oh yeah, but I would sell them. I'm like, exactly, you're not wearing them. You're selling these things. We're talking about wearing your clothes. You're not gonna wear the things you buy because it's a good deal. You're gonna wear things if they're a good pick. So how do you pick better pieces? Well, stop f***ing around so much. Get a better read on things. Measurements, like I said, are the most important thing. Fit is the most important thing. So that comes first, but you still gotta filter out a lot of crap because there's gonna be a lot of things that fit you, but you gotta pick a direction. It really feels like a battle to look good. So what do I do? I PVP, purpose, versatility, and personality. This is so nice because this works and it is also an acronym, but it just sounds cool, right? Oh, you know, PVP. Anyways, this is your Brita filter to success. You need your wardrobe essentials. You need the foundation, the roots of your wardrobe to be as pure and optimal as possible as to not to make the rest of your wardrobe messy. Because if the foundation's messy, the whole house falls down. I am sp Bidding right now. The first step to PVPing fashion is purpose. What does this piece do for you? What is the purpose of this piece being in your life? What does it do for the current state of your wardrobe? Like buying a pair of Ramones 
because, oh, look at this high fashion, cool zeitgeist. This will make me respected. Like, oh, look at me. I'm wearing Rick Owens. Oh, you, if you know, you know. This just, uh, look at how much, oh, you're wearing Nike Dunks. I'm wearing Rick Owens Ramones. Like, I'm, like, I'm super, I'm a simple guy, but I have a lot of taste. That is not a $600 answer. I'm sorry. It's not the answer you want for any piece of clothing, really. But maybe buying a pair of Ramones because you associate with the Rick Owens vision. And you just need a simple, casual shoe that goes with a lot of the things in your wardrobe that points in that direction. Now, that's a solid answer for this. Now, that item has a purpose in your wardrobe. It has a reason to be there and not just, oh, you're wearing Nike Dunks? <laughs> I'm wearing Rick Owens Ramones. Oh, you're wearing Converse? Ugh. I don't even know what that is. I am a Ramon. But the same logic of purpose can be said for everything from a pair of 550s to an acronym jacket. There are a lot of reasons to buy clothes. There are so many reasons to buy clothes and a lot of them suck. Just make better choices and find better purposes for these clothes in your wardrobe. That's a good filter, purpose. The next filter in PVP is versatility. How many fits can I make with this piece? How many scenarios are viable for this piece? It's It can't be considered an essential if you don't need it. Isn't that the whole point of an essential? So there's a difference between thinking of something in theory and it actually happening in practice. And I feel like, you know, I feel like people need to start realizing there's a big separation here between these two types of things, the in theory and the in practice. When you see something cool, right? And you naturally start thinking of all the fits that you can make and all the combinations of clothes that you can wear with this piece. And now you start thinking of all the scenarios that you're gonna be wearing this piece in. Building an entire setting of like, oh, this is where I would wear it. This is what I would do. This is how I would be feeling. Oh, I feel great. I feel great in this piece. Look how great this piece makes me feel. Look at how many friends I have in this thought. Oh, this is such a crazy thought. And it's all because of this piece of clothing. Toyota, let's go places. Like the imagination runs wild and you essentially sell yourself on the piece. Wake up, buddy. It's all in your head. That, everything from that bit, We've all had that. Let's be honest. That whole thing is the in theory part. This whole part is so sick. I wish that I could live my whole life in theory. Cause, cause the in practice, this part's so lame. In, in practice, you have ups and downs. In theory, it's all ups. Now I'm just pissing myself off. But now you see the stark contrast between how a piece works in theory and fits in theory versus in practice. And you gotta remember this when you're filtering how versatile something can actually be. Like, are you really, are you really gonna wear this? Are these thoughts possible right now? Sadly, versatility is what will work in practice. Not, not in theory, cause everything works in theory. Think about how something will do in practice be more real with yourself, is what I'm saying. Be realistic about this. Make better choices. Pick better pieces. The last filter in the PVP system is personality. If you don't have a personality, that's cool. You can skip this step. Your NPC ass is just happy to be alive. But if you have some direction, then this last part of the filter should really filter a lot of things out for you. I'll give a personal example on how my interests don't necessarily align with what is deemed universal, right now at least. Personally, not a fan of athletic sneakers right now. Haven't been for a long time. It just doesn't really fit my where I want my style to go. I don't necessarily like how they look on me. I even train in leather gats. That's just how much I would rather not wear a, a running shoe. I'm kind of going crazy here though. Um, this right here, this is in practice. And don't get me wrong, I'm not taking anything away from this kind of shoe. I personally think a lot of them are sick. Like these New Balances, these are so cool in pictures and they're so cool on other people. But I know that if I bought a pair and I, and I crossed that bridge, that 
These would stay on the bench and I would never wear them. Keep your personality and your taste in mind, especially for things that are gonna be the fundamentals of your wardrobe. Your foundation is what should be the most filtered. That personality part, that last filter in the system is gonna determine what your style actually looks like and where it can go. Without this part, the personality part, you'll just end up looking like everyone else. And that's where I feel the whole wardrobe fundamentals part goes wrong and gets boring. It's because those pieces are not essential to your wardrobe. Just get your measurements, get your measurements. Just get it. There's no way to avoid it get your measurements. That's what you really need to get your true wardrobe fundamentals. Taking this approach will do wonders for how you look and feel in your clothes. I promise you. And you know what shares the same values as this? The sponsor of this video, Squarespace.com. Squarespace is the best place to make a website for absolutely anything. Let me reintroduce you to their workflow system called Fluid Engine. It just makes building and customizing super easy. It's really just as simple as clicking and dragging things where you want them to be. And they even got an asset library system so they can keep everything organized in one spot. And they have a bunch of these award-winning templates so that you have a place to start with this. And then, like I said, it's just clicking and dragging. And one of the best tools that I've been using for my brand and that I've found a lot of success in is email capture. Squarespace makes it really easy to set up a landing page for people to sign up for this. And when you're ready to sell stuff, they got all the integrated e-commerce tools that you need to set up an entire web store just on the website builder. And you can even connect a square reader to your phone so that you can sell in person on the Squarespace app as well. And all of this is available and free to try right now. We've set up a room personally for you guys at squarespace.com slash frugal aesthetic. Free trial of the website builder, and then you'll get an extra 10% off your first order of a domain or a website. You can go check it out now at squarespace.com slash frugal aesthetic. You are welcome. I personally use it for whatever I need. And so you get the personal vet for me. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. They're here, baby. The stock pants are finally here. This was the most hype piece I've ever had. And it's coming out on Monday, July 10th at 6 p.m. EST. I saw that there were Google searches for this pair of pants before I even announced that they were being released, which is kind of crazy. I didn't even have to do any marketing. You understand how fast these are gonna go. So be there Monday, July 10th at 6 p.m. EST. I hate being the guy talking about clothes selling out, but I also hate it when people complain about clothes selling out.